Vapor Kit here again. I remodified all my boxes in my last video and I finally got it done. As good as I'm going to get it, I'm running 15 plates, 5 plates per box, and I've got them two different frequencies on each cell. And over here I'll show you the output. I'll kick it on without the alternator right now because it's drawing 40 amps. Kick it on and I'll show you. Now 40 amps, it'll start sucking the battery down. So what I'll do is I'll fire up my alternator just like if it was in a car. I'll go over here and show you what I'm running. I'm hitting close to 40 amps, a little over, because the water is getting warmer. I'm drawing about 12 volts. Over here, what I'm drawing. Putting out pretty good production. If I pull it out, I'll show you the uh, hydrogen that it's putting out. It's doing pretty good. I light it off, but I don't want to have a uh, big explosion. Over here we got three boxes. Kind of looks a mess with silicone, but with me building up pressure, I'm developing leaks. So I pretty well got it contained now. I've had it for about a half an hour running, and it's a, I'd say it's up to about 80 degrees. In the back, I can feel the terminals. They're just barely even lukewarm. I'm running two neutrals, two negatives on a, one negative on each end, and a positive in the center. And it kind of keeps the heat down. Does a pretty good job. And if you take a look inside the box, this is what I got. Not too bad for five plates per so uh, per box. It's about two tablespoons full of electrolyte. The only way that I found by putting out a lot of high hydrogen is you've got to use some amperage. That's a four. If I use 10 amps, I'm not going to get nothing done. So i got to go with a lot of amperage. And that seems to do it. If I put it over here, Builds up pressure in the uh, tank. That's a pretty good job. 
So that's what I got so far. Thank you, kid. Talk to you later.